Roscoe about letting the Dukes go because of lack of evidence. Roscoe, of course, understood. Peters, you know what you are? You're a dipstick, a 14 carat dipstick. Roscoe always did have an understanding nature. Well, Cletus, I'll tell you what to look hard for. Look hard in your pay envelope next week because stupidity is subject to withholding tax. You dipstick! You... Roscoe, Roscoe, what? what in the world is all this yelling and screaming about out here? Well, my, oh, my, oh, my. Don't you know that a man who raises his voice gives clear evidence that he has lost complete control of himself? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Boss, it's just that it's Cletus, you know? He had those Duke boys in the palm of his hand, and he let them go because that girl wouldn't win them. He's a lug nut! Ooh. I'm surrounded by lug nuts! Oh, boss, 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 Dick, Dick, listen. Dick. You're losing control. <laughs> yeah. Roscoe, you listen. You just find that girl, or else you start finding ways of making extra money to feed an extra mouth. Extra mouth? Uh, which extra mouth is that? My wife, your fat sister Lulu's mouth. That's what mouth. Oh, that extra mouth. Because if that girl messes up my deal with Leroy Dibbs for their motorcycles, Leroy's gonna get mad at me. And if Leroy gets mad at me, I ain't gonna be around no more, no place, no how to do nothing to keep Lulu in the amount of grits to which she is accustomed. Ooh. You hear? Yeah. So find that girl for the tenth time. Yeah. Find her. Mm -hmm.